Now, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this video, for your participation on this channel. And welcome to my another political episode for today. If you are new on this platform or if you're watching for the first time, welcome and please subscribe to my channel. Also, to those who have been watching my videos, who have been following me all along, yet who haven't subscribed, I'm just requesting you to please subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. Just press the like button down below so that YouTube can recommend this video to reach out to others. Our aim here is to grow together. You may also press the notification bell down below so that you may be able to receive the notifications automatically from YouTube immediately I post a video on this channel. To my returning subscribers, to my loyal viewers and supporters, I also want to appreciate you for your continued support. Feel very much welcome as you watch this video and I really, really don't take your entire support for granted. So the Economic Freedom Fighter, EFF, well known as Julius Malema himself, who is the current opposition leader of South Africa, recently launched severe attacks on the Azimio leader, Right Honorable Raila Molodinga, on the basis of the anti-government protest and the street demonstrations that con were conducted by Raila Molodinga. I want you to realize that also Julius Malema conducted several demonstrations and the street protest in South Africa. So I personally believe that the prolonged bitter fallout between Julius Malema and Raila Molodinga is simply because of the good working relationship or the close ties between Raila Odinga and the president of South Africa as the real Ramaphosa himself and especially when recently Raila Odinga invited Ramaphosa to be a mediator or to come and mediate on the dialogue between William Ruto and Raila Amolodinga. And that simply explains also as to why Julius Malema has been a huge supporter, the greatest defender of President William Samuel Ruto. So let me just read for you uh, this statement. I'm not able to uh, show you the video simply because of the copyright issues. But let me just uh, read for you this statement made by uh, Cyril Ramaphosa, uh, sorry, uh, Julius Malema to Brian Odinga. He's saying that, Comrades, we want to make a call in Kenya, especially to Comrade Raila Odinga. Stop doing what you are doing. Do not disrupt Kenya. We need peace in Kenya. President William Ruto was democratically elected in Kenya. I will not allow you to use the people of Kenya to destabilize the peace of Kenya. Now, this is not the first time Julius Malema is attacking Raila Odinga on the political issues. I remember very well, immediately after Raila Odinga lost the previous 2022 general elections, Julius Malema was on the front line advising Raila Odinga to move on and quit. And he was the, among the first leaders to congratulate President William Samuel Ruto. And I remember Raila Odinga was complaining, including the Azimio Lomoja Alliance leaders, telling other countries to stop congratulating William Ruto because he was actually planning to overturn the, 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 the results or to challenge the final results by uh, going to the Supreme Court to launch a petition to nullify the previous 2020 elections. So just for the uh, confirmation basis, let me just read for you this small statement of Julius Malema immediately reloading a lost the previous 2022 general elections to President William Ruto. Malema told William uh, Reloading that accept and move on. Reloading should accept the results of the elections uh, and act with the restraint with their supporters. It should never be in the name of any presidential candidate. Kenyans must love their country more than any individual. So, considering 
all these issues that Julius Malema has talked about. I want to agree with Julius Malema on three issues, but I also want to disagree with Julius Malema strongly on other various issues which I'm going to talk about in this video. But just a reminder before we go straight, in case you're watching YouTube and subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Thank you so much. Just take a second and click the subscribe button. Thank you so much for your subscription. Now, first of all, I want to agree with Julius Malema when he tells Raila Odinga to stop sabotaging President William Ruto's administration. I concur with him 100%. Raila Odinga and the Azibio Lomoja Alliance have a mission, have always had this, this mission of sabotaging the economy in the name or in using the excuse of the street protest and the demonstration which is allowed in the constitution of the Republic of Kenya. So basically, what Ludinga has been doing in the street demonstrations is to cause violence. You know, the demonstrations of the street protest must be peaceful, peaceful actually. So when it destroys properties, when it causes this violence, destruction of properties, the Kenyan government will have to pay for it to repair everything that has been destroyed during the demonstrations. Also, you will find out that whenever Lodinga is conducting these demonstrations, all the businesses are being closed. So that basically tells you that the government is not able to collect revenue. And that is why when you had uh, several leaders, economists, were complaining that each and every time Reloadinga conducts a demonstration, a total of over 2 billion Kenya shillings is lost. Just like that. So that is part of the sabotaging economy. Secondly, ladies and gentlemen, I want to agree with Julius Malema when he says that William Ruto was democratically elected by the people of the Republic of Kenya. You know, up to date, Raila Odinga has not yet accepted that he lost the previous 2022 general elections. Majority of Azimio leaders, majority of Azimio Lomoja Alliance supporters are still living in denial. And that is why majority of these people, the way they behave, they are actually bitter on themselves until they accept that William Ruto is the president of the Republic of Kenya and acknowledge and recognize Ruto as the president and stop calling this government a legitimate uh, government, like just like what Martha Karu has been talking about. That is when now we'll have this conversation. But until then, right now, ladies and gentlemen, Raila Odinga, as Mio supporters, as Mio leaders, have not yet accepted that William Ruto actually won the previous elections and humiliated, defeated Raila Odinga together with Uhuru Kenyatta. So they, that, that, they must accept that, first of all. And thirdly, ladies and gentlemen, I want to agree with Julius Malema when he says that he wants a peaceful Kenya. Basically what he means is that without peace, there's no development. And that is why William Ruto, president, has been on the forefront to ensure that there's peace in this country. And I had him speak yesterday, saying that the reason as to why he had to meet and have a dialogue with Raila Odinga is simply because he wants to ensure that whatever the differences he has with Raila Odinga does not come to turn to be violent because we are actually a democratic country and you can talk about all of these issues, but demonstrations and violence should not be the way forward. forward. Despite the fact that Raila Odinga has been given an opportunity to lead the opposition, does not mean that he has to go in that way to cause violence and chaos, to cause disruptions and lack of peace here in Kenya. But I also want to disagree with Julius Malema on one thing. 
he must know, he must understand that Kenya is actually a sovereign state. Kenya has the ability to disagree and agree also and solve its own issues. So because Kenya is actually a democratic country, we don't need any inclusion, any severe attacks from other countries. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what you think. Let me know your thoughts on the comment section below. Otherwise, I don't have much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. Until next time, my name is Jason, but please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.